Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily create your own workflow in Asana. I'm going to show you uh, the guide also with automations and how we can make it really effective. So let's start first and I'm going to click here and blank project, create a project, blank project. I'm going to add the name of YouTube business channel and this is going to be my team and public. Also, I'm going to choose the default view as a list. So I'm going to press continue. And here, what do you want to do first? I'm going to click start adding tasks. And then I'm going to show you how we can do it also with the workflow. So first thing that we're going to add are sections. So first section is going to be to do. Then the second section is going to be in progress. And then done. Now I can also have a section, let's say stuck. So let's say in to do, I'm going to simply add a task name, which is going to get a go, let's say YouTube video about marketing. When I have it, I can assign it to myself. I can add a due date and I can add like more columns. So I can simply add a single select, which is going to get priority. And it's going to get called high. Then we're going to have medium and low. Create a field. So let's say I'm going to have simple priority here. Then I can also have a description here. Or not description, but let's say I can add a revenue or let's say a cost cost and I can have like create a field so I can like this cost of creating the video then I can simply also add uh, from customize you're gonna see the creating on last modified on completed on so we have multiple options what you can add here. And I can also like open my task and I can simply uh, add a subtask. I can add a description here and I can add a subtask which is going to get called um, create a YouTube thumbnail or create a YouTube description. So that's pretty good. Now when you have it, you can go even further. And when you have the to do in progress done, I can create like another one, another task. So click plus here. So I'm going to add like YouTube, no, not, not complete, YouTube business video. Okay, and we got it, right? So let's say I have two tasks here. I have to do in progress done stack. What I can do, I can simply go in a board and always find everything here. So I have to do in progress done stack. And let's say that we want to create a workflow now. So uh, now what you can do is to simply click on the rules. So we will do something like this. We are going to create the rules together and then we are going to focus on the workflow, all right? So go on the customize right above the adding a field. You're gonna find the rules here. Let's click on the add a rule. And here I'm going to create a custom rule. So let's say when there is a task added to the project I want to uh, have a signee myself so when there is going to be a product uh, like an action we're gonna have it okay create a rule then we can have different rule which is going to get called create a custom rule when there is a to the project I want to create a new subtask. 
and it's going to get called YouTube thumbnail YouTube description so I know that I will be uploading only YouTube videos so this is how we do it create a rule now I'm going to get a different rule which is going to get called that when a task is finished so when task is completed I'm going to add I'm going to like a completion task I'm going to move it to a section which is going to get called done and now we have three rules so let's see how it's going to look like now we are going to create a new task which is going to get called YouTube video guide automatically it's assigned to myself and then I have a two subtasks created YouTube thumbnail YouTube description let's say that I'm going to mark it as complete when I'm going to click it it's going to be in done voila here you got it so this is pretty much it how we do it and how we can manage it now when I go uh, back to the workflow I can how now let's create the workflow so this is how I create the rules for example and this is I created a complete tutorial how we can manage the rules in Asana so I go back to calendar or let's say I'm going back to workflow and then how will task be added to this project let's say task template or from submission or like it doesn't matter or manually right so to do when tasks move to this question what should happen automatically so when you have section to do what will happen we can set the priority to let's say low create a rule so you're always creating rules like we did when you have in progress so what happens when someone is going to uh, move to the section you can have more questions like uh, add a subtask, set due date, add another project, assign a task. Then, when tasks move to this question to done, what should happen? I can add approvals. So that's something you can do. And what happens when someone is in stuck? Uh, when someone is in stuck, I can assign the task or add a comment or have a custom action here. I can even connect it with other tools here so that's pretty much what you can do and then click done so this is pretty much it how we can do it and this is how we can use the workflow and how we can use the workflow in asana if you can have any questions guys ask me down in the comments i'll really happy to help you and provide you some guidance And yeah. Have a great day and goodbye.